Hi and welcome. Here are a few tips for Tower for Mac. In Tower's Preferences dialog, you can configure a default directory for cloned repositories. Whenever you clone a repository, Tower will suggest this folder as the default location. After connecting your hosting accounts, no matter if it's GitHub, Visual Studio or GitLab, cloning becomes a matter of just a couple of clicks. To open or find a repository in Tower, you don't have to take your hands off the keyboard. Simply hit Command Shift O to show the quick open window. Type some letters from the repository's name. It doesn't matter if you've already added that particular repository to Tower or not. By the way, as long as the input field is empty, you get a listing of your last open repositories. This is a quick access to your favorite bookmarks. In Tower, a lot of actually difficult Git tasks are as easy as drag and drop. Let's make some examples. Drag a branch in the sidebar to create new branches. Push or publish to a remote server. Or drag specific commits to start a new branch. Or even perform a cherry pick. The working copy offers different view modes. By default, it only lists modified files in a flat list. You can also have your files listed as a tree. That means including the folder structure. And you can also display unmodified files if you should ever want to see all of your project's files. The repositories view helps you organize your bookmarks. You can use drag and drop to reorder items, create folders, or let Tower do the sorting for you. Tower lets you know if you have any unsynced commits in your project. This is what the little arrow icons mean, next to a branch in the sidebar, and also in a branch's history. In this case, Tower tells you that you haven't pulled or downloaded some commits from the remote server. This way, you're always up to date. With Git staging area, you can determine which changes you want to have in the next commit. Tower takes this one step further. It allows you to choose the exact chunks and even lines you want to stage. Select the changed file in the working copy list. In the diff view on the right, you can either select a chunk of changes or even individual lines that you want to add to the next commit. You don't have to take your hands off the keyboard just to make a commit. In the working copy view, just make sure that a changed file is selected. Then hit the spacebar to stage or unstage an item. Use the up and down arrows on your keyboard to inspect other files. Hit Command Shift C to focus the commit area. And after having entered a message, confirm the commit with Command and Return. Checking out a branch is something you'll do all the time. Tower makes this really easy. You can simply double click a branch in the sidebar. Alternatively, you can also hit Command Shift B and then simply start typing the name of a branch. That way, you don't have to touch your mouse at all. Being able to undo things easily is one of Tower's greatest features. Let's make a few examples. You can discard local changes in a file, either just some of them, all of the changes in that file, or you can restore your working copy completely. You can undo committed changes by reverting and resetting commits. Or you can fix your very last commit by using the amend option. Tower lets you inspect the history not only of your project, but also of a specific file. Right click the file in the working copy and choose File History from the menu. Tower then shows you all of the commits that changed that particular file. A great way to understand how a file evolved over time. Tower, the best Git client for Mac and Windows.